So our first guest today is joining us is Jean Hennessy. She's the Director of Communications for the Boatport Hospitality Group. How are you, Jean? I'm doing great. Thank yeah. you. Thanks you, for having me. Thanks for being here. You've been our point person for all things Boatport. That's right. We work with you. And so we're so appreciative of, uh, of sharing this time with you today. And, and this, this space. space. Yeah. yeah, this beautiful space. Oh, I'm so happy the event deck was available. I this know. Is perfect. And well, so good that you Seth got that sun shining. Yeah. That was well, really handy. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. We do what we can here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, so Jean, let's talk about life here at the hotel post-COVID and how you made the adjustment uh, this summer. It's been booming every time I've been here. Oh my goodness. Yeah. We are booming. And, and adjustment's an interesting word because um, I was thinking, you know, what we're doing here and adjust, adjusting every day for the last year and a half we're adjusting and it's um it's been a real lesson about what, what we need to do for our guests because as you know things changed continuously throughout the last year and a mm -hmm. half now once we open the doors bam where we're just booming it's crazy yeah. and we adjust here every day still right so are there any lessons that you've learned about hospitality in the past year Oh, 100 percent surprises yes right? yes absolutely and it's important it's always been important for us to take care of each guest as an individual mm -hmm. but now seeing how people reacted over the last year and a half you can see how how very important that is individuals reacted so differently and had so many different needs throughout mm. the pandemic that that's an important lesson to carry on in hospitality in general to, to see the difference in personalities. Are there any examples of innovations you made during COVID that you're retaining? Um, most importantly, our rooftop. Uh, something that happened during COVID is we became more of a family destination, which is wonderful. Families found us and they found our beach and, and the rooftop pool. Um, as you may know, the rooftop pool is not huge so we learned that we need to manage that differently and um, accommodate families differently than we do yeah. the rest of our guests yeah. And so wedding season, right? Is it how crazy has this been? Are we doing weddings so, on like Monday mornings now here? <laughs> <laughs> Almost. We are having weddings um, every, every Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Mm -hmm. Almost every Thursday. Very many Mondays. Really? So That's almost cool. every day of the week we have weddings because we were already very well booked for 2021. 20, so all the folks who postponed their weddings in 2020 have kind of fit in in the little gaps that we had and then um on thursdays and mondays yeah so it's it's That's been wonderful. it's been awesome we have people here all the time now and it, it's so nice to see everybody back in have you person. noticed a difference in um in the guests here are they coming from further are there more day trippers more locals discovering the hotel we've always enjoyed a drive market mm -hmm. you know i would say 60 miles out now we see more um, the mid-Atlantic, Delaware, mm. Pennsylvania, New Jersey folks coming, upstate New York, more, it's a greater drive market that we're enjoying. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. And are there specific things happening this summer here at the hotel? Like, are you rolling out different programs? Well, one of the, the new things, and again, adjustments and innovations, and we have to reinvent ourselves all the time anyway. So it gave us some time to consider that well, we were, when we were quieter during the pandemic. We opened a new oyster bar. I don't know if you're familiar with it. It's not quite as Ray was like oysterized yet <laughs> because uh, due to the pandemic, a lot of things are on back order still. So we don't have the big bins and the full oyster bar experience, but we are serving a different oyster menu each day. And it is beautiful. It, it's just brightens up the dining room so much. It's fabulous. Yeah, and Jean walked me through the other day. Oh, yeah. It's gorgeous. Yeah. We got to do that, Corey. Oh, my God. We got to yeah. come and have It's gorgeous. Yeah, we'll be back next week <laughs> for that show. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. Can I just ask about staffing? Everyone has had issues with staffing. Has the hotel? Yeah. <sighs> We sure have, and and Seaport Grill down the street, and um, 1606. It, it's been very, very difficult. Mm -hmm. You know, people expect a certain Beauport experience, and we we are working very hard. The folks we have here are really working so hard to rise to the occasion because we're shorthanded. We are hiring everywhere, every department, every property. Mm -hmm. We're hiring, and um, that it's been a, an extreme challenge. It's a challenge for our, our guests, and it's a challenge for our, our staff here. 
do you offer them like roof, a little time in the rooftop pool? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Why don't you think it over? Yeah, how, yeah. Take a <laughs> <laughs> go upstairs, yeah. think about it for yeah. a while. And any attract, any ways you're sure, trying to attract staff? Sure, we have we have incentives. We yeah. have bo signing bonuses for certain um, critical positions, mm. and we've been advertising anywhere we can think of. It's oh, just. Yeah. Everybody is shorthanded. It's yeah. it's tough. Yeah, that's a top story in hospitality, right? It is, and we appreciate the guest who appreciates that. Mm. You know, by and large, our guests understand that it, that people in the hospitality industry are shorthanded, and they're they're coming in here with patience and enjoying the fact that they can be here at all and enjoying the experience. Right. But mm -hmm. um, patience is a virtue. <laughs> well, I've been here a couple of times to enjoy your lunch lunch on the deck and in the um, bar area, and I never felt any lack of attention. That is wonderful sure. to yeah. hear, because yeah. as I said, the folks who are here are working very, very hard to make that happen, so that's great. Yeah. So, Jean, for those maybe watching from outside the area, can you just give a quick overview of the amenities here at the hotel? It's 30-odd rooms, right? 94 rooms. Oh, 94 rooms. 94 so, rooms. Right. 30. Yeah. I was thinking of Baskin Robbins. <laughs> Ice cream at oh, Port Hotel. I'm just watching the, the tray behind me here. <laughs> we have 94 rooms and 10,000 square feet of event space, including this beautiful deck. We have a full service restaurant in 1606 that is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. To and the public, right? To the public, yeah. all open to the public. And the rooftop, which is not open to the public, has the bird's eye um, bar. So you can order food up there as well. Right. Mm. With a pool and a hot tub. So and that's a spectacular spot. But yeah. we save that for our overnight guests. Right. We also opened, I don't know if you're aware of this, since we saw you last, Tranquility which is a wellness space in the hotel. Oh. It's not a, a spa per se, but it's a wellness space where people mm. can enjoy a massage, Reiki, um, uh, yoga, private yoga classes. So that was a tremendous new thing that we entered during um, during COVID. Right. Nice addition. It yeah. was, it's been very well yeah. received. And we're situated right on Pavilion Beach, which is gorgeous and clean and sparkling today. And it's been a great summer for guests too. So. And guests can hang it on the beach. I see you have a... Absolutely. Yeah. And another service we provide, though, is we pr give them chairs, a lunch, and everything, and then the shuttle take them over to Good Harbor Beach if they prefer. So Ooh, um, wow. there's a lot that they can do off property that we will facilitate for them. Nice. Oh, that's really nice. So now if people want to uh, learn more about the Boatport Hotel or Boatport Hospitality Group in general, how can they go about doing that? BoatportHospitality.com. Right. We're all there, BoatportHotel.com. You can find out it, it, everything's right there. That's right. And then Jean, we believe, is going to be circling back to join us later in the show with a special guest. I don't want to get your hopes up, because I heard your stomach rattle a little Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm <laughs> smelling breakfast over there. Yeah. It smells so good. It smells, so smells good. very good. Yeah. <laughs> well, we appreciate you chatting with us, Jean. And again, thank you for your hospitality here again today for us. We really do appreciate My it. My pleasure. So, Thanks okay, for having we'll us. We'll see you in a little bit. All right. Okay, Jean Hennessy, the Director of Communications here at the Beauport yeah. Hospitality Group. Thank, thank you, Jean. You. Awesome. I mean, this place is such an ace. It I is. love coming And they here. added 60 rooms to your party. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's so yeah. great, Forward right? Forward thinking, yeah. <laughs>